Hi guys and welcome once again to Prison Architect. I'm James Roy 38 and hopefully you guys are doing okay. Uh, we're gonna straight away speed time up. Um, now I've got all of these prisoners working here and I need to actually set some of them to work in the cleaning cupboard. So we'll ah, that's the other thing we need to do. We need to make that room max security only. <coughs> Excuse me. So logistics. Oh no, we've already set people to work there, they've just not started working there. Oh that's fine, then eventually they will. Uh, now if we take a look in the regime yeah, so because we've now got two sets of prisoners uh, and we've got them in separate places and all sorts of stuff you can actually set separate regimes for each of them. So if I wanted them to sort of go in this part of the prison, I could sort of rotate their sleeping so these guys could sleep in the middle of the day and then at night they go in the workshop and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you know, the options are there so you can actually set your prisoners on different regimes. Um, so yeah, you've also got the protective custody regime. So you could set these guys to do specific things. Um, but yeah, so handy little tip so you can set your prisoners to do different things. Okay, now I want a cleaning cupboard in here because some of this is getting a bit filthy. Um, so I'd like these guys to actually help clean it up. And did I see one of those guys with a drill? Um, I, I swear I did. This is going to annoy him a bit, but... Search him. Like, as I say, I, I don't know if that was just, like, out the corner of my eye or something, but I swear I just saw him with a drill. Okay. So, let's let our guards do that and see what happens. If one of them has a drill, I'm just going to laugh. The fact that I saw them with it. Oh my god, they had a drill! <laughs> That's excellent! So I actually saw the drill! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! The fact that I actually saw them with the drill? <laughs> okay! <laughs> I can't believe that. Literally out the corner of my eye I saw that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, uh, so I'm going to put this wall up um, and then turn this area into a cleaning cupboard uh, so that these guys can actually clean up a little. Um, now, I know that with my yards on the outside as they are, um, sometimes they'll call in and get people to throw stuff over the walls. Um, so if we look at intelligence and information, yeah, so just here for example, um, there's drugs that have been arranged to be thrown over the wall. And I know I could get rid of that problem by putting an extra fence around and all sorts of stuff like that. But I'm going to do that sort of thing anyway eventually. Um, because eventually, you know, I'm going to have a big exterior... Yeah, when I learn to speak properly. Uh, I'm going to have a very big exterior wall and stuff. So I don't see the point of double fencing it at the moment. And I've got a police officer there. And obviously because I've got the phone taps, I know about it. And so my police officers, what they should do is go there when it's due to be thrown over. Um, so yeah. Uh, those guys are my confidential informants. Uh, I've got three up there. Anyone with traits that will get them killed. Um, you're a trait that we don't know about. So obviously we're getting a lot of new prisoners in. Uh, it's a good thing we've got some informants both in the uh, max security and the normal security. It means that we'll have uh, a better coverage um, with those prisoners. Um, but I'm not going to call any of them in at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll get this cleaning cupboard filled. Uh, and then I've got to work out what I'm going to put here. Um, I might do a small workshop. 
Um, because the workshops can make you some money, so it would be a good idea to have. Um, or a classroom. I mean, I could make this a very small classroom and then make this a workshop. That would work. Um, though I don't have a shop either in this area, which, you know, if people are earning money, they might be a little annoyed at the fact that they can't spend that money. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, awesome, that's been built. Lock that open, please. And let's put a cleaning cupboard down. Come on, work out your proper room. Yep, there you go. Uh, so, logistics. Um, I'm only going to have two people working there. And I'm going to remove a lot from there. I mean, I've got six at the moment. So yeah, two and four. So that works. Um, I'll end up micromanaging this a little to make sure that, you know, when I get more um, protective custody prisoners, uh, I add them to one of the two rooms, but, you know. Uh, we were also getting some maximum security prisoners in, which is brilliant. We're actually going to see more prisoners arrive. And that room is flooding really badly. Um, let's just add in a lot more drains. Yeah, because I, I think it's coming out the side there. So if we add in the extra drains, hopefully it won't. <laughs> These guys will going off to do some work. Or oh, weight training. And you're using the phone, so if we have a look at utilities. Connect, there it is. And show the wires. Yeah, the phone's being listened to. So if they arrange something, we'll know about it. <laughs> now, I could also set up some automated doors and things, uh, which I may do eventually. I've not decided yet. Um, you know, I, I may eventually have automated doors for sort of the front here and stuff like that. Oh, look at them all. All the new prisoners. And you just literally got run over. Okay. Um, see, one of the good things about having higher security prisoners, they're more likely going to be here for a long time. Like this guy, he's going to be here for like 30 odd years. You know? Um, whereas the minimum security guys... You know, they'll be with you for like six months a year. The normal security range sort of between that, so you know, six, seven years. So it's always a good idea having. Uh... Sorry, guys, uh, my dog is just jumping up at the window, so I was trying to work out why. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so the, the normal security prisoners, you know, will be there for a smaller length of time. But if you really want to make the most of your prisoners, and the reason I say make the most of them, is if they're here a long time, you've got more opportunity to train them, and then you get more out of training them. So if I train them to be a carpenter um, and build a bed, for example, they're the ones that are going to be here the longest, and so you'll get more beds made from that prisoner. Whereas if you put a time investment into a low security prisoner, you know, you teach them how to make a bed and then, you know, four or five days into the, the game, they leave. Well, you've just spent all that time teaching them. Whereas a max security prisoner, you spend that time teaching them, they're going to be there for a long time. So you're going to get more out of them. Um, and the fact that, you know, a max security prisoner is worth more just for being here. You know, you actually earn more money with a max security prisoner than you do with a minimum security prisoner. So, you know, there's a lot of advantages to having higher security prisoners in your prison. Obviously, the downside is they're more violent. Um, they have more traits normally. They can be more of a problem. So, yeah, it's a double-edged sword, but, you know, ultimately I think it's worth it. Okay, so we've got the cleaning cupboard going, although I need to add some lights into that room because it is ridiculous. 
and I just want to check uh, deployment. Yeah, see, once again, it's decided it's whatever color it wants to be. Whenever you build in a room, um, oh no, 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 that's that's meant to be max security. Yeah, whenever you split a room in half or anything like that, it seems to def default to shared. So just be aware of that. Uh, so yeah, I think little classroom. Little classroom, I think, would be a good plan. And we need a office desk. Uh, now I am fully aware that it's very tight knit quarters there, but you know. Um, we'll set it up and hopefully it will be fine. Yeah, I mean, the minimum is a 5x5, five five, so as soon as they put that office desk, I think that should be fine. And then I can set up some courses just for these guys. Um, so with that there, yeah, let's turn this into a workshop. You know, if I've got two workshops going, it, it just means that I'm more likely to make some money. So I need a printing press, I believe. Yeah, workshop press, there you go. Uh, is that the first or the second item? No, that's the second. So we'll have... Um, I don't know, actually. Hang on. We'll set it actually as a workroom. Um, there's the workshop. Okay. There we go. So, we want... A couple of workshop tables. A couple of presses. And... I think just a single carpentry bench. Yeah, that'd be fine. And once again... Uh, need... Uh, logistics, there we go. Set that for as many people as possible. Keep finding stuff on people. Uh, so the more prisoners I get in here, the sort of the better it'll be. Oh come on! One, two, three. Oh, it's not five long. Hang on, really? How wide is it? Four. Damn it! Just, just damn it. <laughs> okay, so you've got to be a 3x3, three three, which is what that is. Damn, really? Just... <sighs> that annoys me so much. <laughs> okay, then. Um, dismantle you. I can stick a wall there. Uh, and my light is going to get demolished because of that. So put a new light. I don't know. There. And there. We'll have a new jail door there. And then this will be my cleaning cupboard. I'll knock that wall down. And that becomes an entire classroom of normal size. Ugh. Okay. So, demolish that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't demolish that wall by accident. Uh, however, dismantle that door. Open that door. No, no, not lock shut, lock open. Thank you. Okay, so that visitation room is now going to be a cleaning cupboard. That can go away because it's all going to become a classroom. Boom. And 
and I can actually spread this out a little now. And also fill the wall there. Uh, now I'm obviously going to have to set this up again with the jobs. And right, being a classroom, I want some more desks. There we go. Deaths? What? When? How? I completely missed when that happened. I'm focusing so much on other things. I mean, what happened to you? Went on a drug fueled rampage. Okay, so what actually happened to you? You died, but overdose. So you overdosed on the drugs that you had. Well, damn it. At least he wasn't murdered, I suppose. Like, you know, that... <laughs> it doesn't sound like that great a thing, but, you know, in this prison, murder happens quite a lot. So I'm, I'm happy that it wasn't a murder. Um, okay, so there's not a lot I could have done there really to stop that there we go right uh, so let's set up some new classes for them so workshop safety Yep, so that's set up in this room. Perfect. Uh, now, just to double check. Okay, these two rooms need to be uh, redefined. Uh, but yeah, so that now will work in this area. So that's perfect. Uh, a kitchen safety. Oh, okay. Uh, add another kitchen safety then. So, yep, that's working in this room. That's going to do a kitchen safety there, and that one's going to do a kitchen safety there. Uh, I don't think I need that one because I don't think I ever have those guys working in that kitchen. Uh, carpentry apprenticeship. Yeah, we'll do one of those down there as well. Um, foundation education. Yep, yeah, that's the uh, the one that I want, so I can cancel that one. Um, I don't think I'll bother with the general education because, yeah, no one seems to be on that. Um, no, no teacher. I'd have to have another psychiatrist, most likely, for that one. Alcoholics group therapy. Again, no space for that. Parole hearing. I do need to build a parole hearing area somewhere here or turn that into a a multiple one. Uh, but yeah, so that should be fine. So, you know, I've got these two teaching people now, so anyone that wants to work in there should be able to. Um, awesome, that dead body has been taken. Oh, it's being taken to the uh, car now. Excellent. Intelligence. Uh, more stuff being thrown over, apparently. Nothing from here, though. Do they have phones? They do. Did I ever connect that phone up? Yes, I did. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's connected up, um, I'll get information from it. Right. Oh, we're on free time at the moment. Any of you guys going to go have a shower? Yes, but you're not really close enough to the door for it to leak out anyway. I don't think it will leak out anymore. Uh, and we've got another 15 max security prisoners coming in. Excellent. We are making quite a good bit of money. Uh, let 
here's all the new guys getting run over by a supply truck always laugh at that it's because they don't get out of the road it's like look look at you you just gonna get run over oh no the guard saved you okay oh well some of these guys are going around cleaning now which is always good why is my danger level rising um, 46 prisoners have complaints you're in prison you don't deserve to complain um, are shackled in their cell or in solitary. Well, you did something to deserve solitary. I'm not really concerned. Um, yeah, but... Oh, no, now it's going down. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, however, I think it's about time for a shakedown. Let's search our prison and find all those horrible things that you little gits have been hiding. huh? Because... There's bound to be a tunnel or two and things like that. Uh, now, it was suggested to me that I put um, metal detectors on my workshop and stuff. I already have metal detectors there. The other thing is having metal detectors in my cell blocks means that to get to their cells, they have to pass through a metal detector. And the benefit of that is even if they steal a drill or something like that from the workshop or something else from somewhere, more than likely they're going to go to their cell with it. Um, so I'm going to get them. Now, the items that the metal detector doesn't detect, well, it doesn't matter where I put metal detectors, it's not going to find them. Um, so, you know, even if someone steals a spoon from the canteen, the only place they can dig a tunnel from is their room. And if they walk through the metal detectors to their room, the metal, de uh, metal detector will go off and tell me that they've stolen something. So I'm not too concerned with putting metal detectors on every door, um, just simply because, you know, there are a thousand each door, I have to use electricity to power them, and, you know, I mean, this is already on its last legs of power, and so to route electricity from this one to the new metal detectors would just be a pain, and though I could do it, it it's just not worth it. You know, I've got the metal detectors on their cell blocks, so I should find anything that they're taking to their cells. Oh, loads of people going in solitary. Let's take a look. Oh look, a potential CI. Uh, well, you are recruited. Thank you very much. How about up here? Ooh. Oh, you are one of my CIs. <laughs> well, have fun in sultry. Are you guys no longer targets? You always were before. Hmm. Looks like they might not be targets anymore. Um, I'm not going to put them back in general population, but... You know, it's good to know that they're not actual targets for uh, prisoners to go and kill. Um, I may have another psychiatrist's office somewhere. Um, so I may put one down here at some point. So that these guys have got access to, you know, going to see a psychiatrist and uh, getting better. <laughs> I say getting better, but you know few more, come on. Four more places to search. Where are they? Last one, come on. Really? Like, where is this? There we go. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. So thank you very much for joining me. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.